and <laughs> wanted to say welcome, welcome everybody jo for joining us for this Oily Underground, all about how to detox your gut. Um, this is going to be an amazing call and we are here to help you guys and I am really excited. Our amazing gold leader, Christina Teff, is going to be leading us tonight. She is just a wealth of information, especially on gut health for both herself, for her kiddos. Like usually if I've got a gut related question or I'm like, tell me what to use on the kiddos, I go straight to Christina. Like she is just an amazing resource. So please tune in, right? Turn off the phone. Well, if you're on the phone, just tune in and don't answer messages, but like tune out distractions, really lean in and pay attention, grab a notepad, a pen, lean in and listen because she's gonna be sharing so much great information tonight and she's just such a fabulous resource and i just adore her so want to turn this over to christina to be leading us thank you girl so excited thank you tracy thank you so much if i cut out let me know if it's not my wi-fi i keep getting that thing where it's like unstable connection so let me know thank you so much Tracy I am so excited for tonight because I this is kind of one of those topics that's like near and dear to my heart and I am always learning new stuff like I felt like you know years ago I knew all there was to know about gut health and then like learning all kinds of new stuff it's crazy so um we're going to talk about gut cleansing we're going to talk about how to detox your gut we're going to talk about cleansing protocols gut support um gut like how to heal your gut using enzymes, the enzymes that Young Living has. So let's just get right into it. If you see me looking down, I have some notes here. So, okay. How do you know if you have a bad gut? That's my first question. So type in the chat if you know some like, what, what are some signs of a bad gut? And I'm gonna tell you some of the things I wrote down. And well, first of all, you should be pooping two to three times a day. Did you know that? Um, one time is not enough or every other day is not enough two to three times a day. It sounds like a lot and you don't want to be, um, it doesn't want to be, you don't want it to be too hard or too loose, or you don't want it to be super painful. Um, th it, that is the normal thing. And you're right. Tracy said gassing, burping all the time. So another, other signs are upset stomach, gas, bloating, constipation, diarrhea, heartburn, um, those are all sides of a bad gut. Did you also know signs of a bad gut are also craving sugar all the time? And maybe unintentional weight loss or weight gain. What about that time in the middle of the night, like around three in the morning or so, and you're waking up every single night consistently at that same time, it's kind of hard to go back to sleep, or you wake up constantly fatigued, you don't feel rested, you wake up fatigued, or you have skin breakouts, um, or irritation somewhere, it's just like the constant spot all over your body or somewhere on your body that's irritated. Um, do you have autoimmune disease or autoimmune issues? Inflammation, food intolerances is another one. Low libido is one. What about mood swings, depression, anxiety? All of those things are signs of a leaky gut. And I'm kind of looking over at the comments, noticing that there are so many more in here and those, I mean, that's just the tip of the iceberg with symptoms of leaky gut. So um, some things like, okay, my next question to you is, do you know why you have inflamed gut or leaky gut um, and why you would need to cleanse a gut? Well, why does it get like this in the first place? So I'm going to say first and foremost, the biggest trigger for why you would have a leaky gut or need to cleanse your gut is stress. And the reason why I'm saying that it's because you can do everything perfectly. You can have your diet perfect, all the supplements take the best su supplements ever. And if you're, you have stress and you have those adrenals dumping cortisol into your body, then that's like the wall and you're going to hit a wall and you're not going to get better. You're not going to heal. And, um, I don't know if you know this, but whenever you are stressed, your adrenals are dumping tons of cortisol in your blood. And that is actually also your body is losing minerals at like an extremely fast pace when that happens. You're just like hemorrhaging the minerals, including and in, um, like minerals like pouring out. And those are really, really important, especially whenever you're trying to heal. So it's kind of, it seems like a vicious cycle, right? And so whenever we're really stressed, we're going to hit a wall. 
we're not going to get better. Another way that you um, could have a bad gut is from antibiotics. So antibiotic use sometimes is super necessary and we really need to use antibiotics for things, but consider replacing all that good bacteria. When you take antibiotics, it gets rid of all the bacteria, good and bad. Consider replacing it with the good stuff, like with probiotics and prebiotics. We'll talk about all that in a little bit. Um, the next one to look at is your foods, what you're eating and what you're eating. Are you eating processed foods? I'm talking processed flour, processed sugars, processed oils, um, you know, all the, what we call PUFAs. I don't know if you've ever heard that term, the polyunsaturated fatty acids. You want to be eating like the, in the coconut oil, things like that. Um, also things that are sprayed with Roundup that can contribute to leaky gut. And that's kind of a, a, like a trigger maybe, or maybe like a, uh, whatever, a controversial word or controversial thing, but things that are sprayed with Roundup or something called glyphosate can actually help um, keep you from absorbing the minerals in the food. And pretty much you won't be absorbing any copper or magnesium from your food if you, it's covered in glyphosate. So that's why it's so important to get that, um, you know, organic stuff and also wash your fruits and veggies because that's really super important. That will help contribute to healing your gut. Um, and did you know that the oils that are in the um, fruit and veggie wash actually do help break down glyphosate, which I thought was really, it's a really neat fact I didn't know. Okay, so let's talk about ways to heal because I'm so excited to share with you and you probably know this or you wouldn't be here or if you if you um, are learning this, it's such an amazing thing, but our, our bodies were designed to work and function perfectly and we can heal. So if you're dealing with things that like reasons why you need to cleanse your gut, if you're dealing with all these issues, you can heal. It's possible. Um, all you got to do is get rid of the stuff that's bothering your gut and bothering your body and then add in the things you're missing and then your body can work great. So ways to heal, lower your stress. Um, we live in a very stressful world, so it's hard to do that sometimes, but do, do all, take all the measures you have to take Epsom salt baths, take some time for yourself, do what you need to do to lower the stress. Um, another thing that I will say that is I've seen massive changes with is taking cortisol. Whenever I am stressed, it helps to balance out all that cortisol in my body. And then my body can get back to that normal, like oh, I can breathe again state. So then I can, so then I can start the healing process. Okay. Um, get lots of sleep, eight hours of sleep, eat slow is another one. Um, eating slow. And I'm like the queen of eating while I'm standing for like every meal. Cause I've got four kids, um, that they're home with me all day. Passing it out to them while I'm like eating my lunch and breakfast. Right. But I have had to stop and slow down and chew my food. I like, um, I think I Googled it even. It was like, how much did I chew my food before I swallow like it's such a dumb question to to google right but it's actually 15 times way more than what I was doing um so like I was probably chewing half that so it's really important actually and you will see a huge um you'll see like a huge difference just by chewing chewing your food okay um hydrating with water I like to add a little bit of salt to my water and I love I love to add like those vitality drops um I love love all of that to hydrate. You want to put like real salt in your water to remineralize your water. That's a really good way to add minerals back in and to um, rehydrate yourself. And you'll get a whole lot more bang for your buck for drinking um, real salt and those vitality drops that we have. Like I love the lavender lemonade. It's my favorite. Okay. Another way to help heal is a prebiotic, probiotic, um, I really like the Life 9 and the uh, Mighty Pro. That is a really good way to kind of add in those probiotics. Also, fermented foods is really good. So you can add in things like um, sauerkraut, things that are fermented. They're really, really high in good bacteria that can kind of help replenish your gut. So that's another way to help just clean everything out and to help heal everything. Um, and sulfurzyme is actually a powder supplement that you can take, and it actually has a lot of gut healing properties as well, and that has um, prebiotics in it, so that helps a lot. So after all of this is done, said and done, and you're doing all these changes, you're adding all these things into your, your 
lifestyle, another really big thing is you, I can't move on to the other things that I want to talk about without addressing diet as well. And changing your diet, getting back to the way that God made um, food is, is really the best, you know, people always ask like, well, what can we eat? What, what are we supposed to eat? How am I supposed to be healthy? You know, you hear all these things, keto, paleo, whatever, how, what can I eat? That's truly nourishing for my gut to help heal myself and nourishing for my body. And really you're going to want to just get back to the basics, like get back, um, get back to, um, the way God originally made it. And because what, if you have a food intolerance to something, it's not necessarily the dairy that's bothering you. It's what we've done to the dairy. It's the pasteurized dairy. It's what we've done to the meat. It's what we've done to the grains that make us so sensitive. And I, my meat guy, my milk person and my, um, egg people all tell me people who are sensitive to these foods can actually eat ours because it's the most original form of it, if that makes sense. Okay, so um, all that to say, keeping your blood sugar balanced is another really big part of keeping your gut clean. And another really good way to kill your, heal your gut is through things like bone broth. Raise your hand if you've ever made your own bone broth and cooked with it. Um, it is so good. It's probably my favorite way to get good gut healing things. So if you learn nothing else from tonight, probably the first thing, my biggest takeaway from this is to make your own bone broth and drink that. And literally that is where you get your gut healing collagen. You want to see your joints or you want your joints to start feeling better and not be so creaky or to move better or your hair to start growing, your nails to grow longer drink bone broth, homemade bone broth with a collagen. That is like the best collagen you can ever get. Um, and it's super simple. Just get a whole chicken, put some celery and some carrots and an onion with a little apple cider vinegar, fill it with water, stick it in your Insta pot for an hour or on your stove top for 24 hours. And you got some really good nourishing broth. And then you have some meat for like on the chicken that you can pull off the bones for like chicken salad, taco goes, whatever. Um, so I can't say enough good things about all of that. Okay. So let me just make sure that I have everything here. Okay. So we're going to talk about, we're going to move on to cleansing just a little bit. Now I want to talk about cleansing. I want to spend the rest of my time talking about how to cleanse your body and how to cleanse your gut. Um, we have a cleansing trio that I really like. And it is a, um, a trio supplement from Young Living. Yep. Tracy's got it. And I will say that I love, I love these products. Okay. Um, I don't know if this tr is true. You can nod your head yes or no, but I've heard before in the past that when Gary Young first started Young Living years and years ago, like before I was even a part of the company, um, the requirement before you could even buy oils was you had to buy this cleansing trio and you had to do this this cleanse because Gary knew that if we didn't clean out our guts, then um, we were not going to be able to, the oils weren't going to work for us as well, right? They were going to, when, when our guts are dirty, when we have all these impurities left behind and we have all this toxic stuff and our gut is running slow, like things aren't moving through like they should be, or maybe they're moving way too fast and you're, you're like, you're wasting out like dig undigested food, um, then your oils aren't going to work as well than when your di digestive system is working really well. So I'm going to talk about these three um, products. The first one is Comfort Tone. So Comfort Tone um, is, oops, and I need to go, hold on, I'm going to go find it because I have this book here for you guys. This is the Central Oils Dust Reference. This is mine from a long time ago. And um, it is like, are really good. Really, really good. Okay. Um, so there are a whole bunch of different cleansing protocols in this book. I'm going to go over this one and then I'll go through a couple of other ones as well, but the comfort tone protocol. So for the actual bottle of comfort tone, you, um, this is like a combination of a bunch of herbs that are really per effective in purging out 
all the toxins and impurities that are in your colon, which is your large intestine. It's the last bit of your digestive system before it, it turns everything out into the toilet. <laughs> um, that is what this supplement will do. It'll help kind of push it all out out and get all of those impurities out. And it also works a little bit in the small intestine as well, um, which is a little higher up. So when these toxins, if they're left in our colon or in our large intestine for a very long time, then those toxins will leach onto our colon, be reabsorbed back into our body, and it can wreak havoc on our body. Like that is why you get inflammation, leaky gut, all those things. Um, and so, and what I mean by leaky gut, it, I, what I mean is like you are, your, your digestive system should be closed off to the rest of your body for things being reabsorbed back in that shouldn't be. But if you have, um, bigger holes in your body, in your, um, intestines, that's what we call leaky gut. And that usually happens from inflammation, from bad food. And so bigger particles are reabsorbed into our, our body that shouldn't be reabsorbed. Like the toxins I talked about are food um, trigger, like things, proteins from foods that were never meant to be reabsorbed back into our bodies that can turn around and cause allergies and things like that. So um, that's why we want to get rid of all that. We want to purge it out. And it, it, it's good. This particular set of herbs in this comfort tone is good at purging out things like um, heavy metals, all kinds of toxins, chemicals. I mean, we're exposed to so much throughout the day. It's good at helping get rid of all of that. Okay, so there's a protocol. I'm not really going to go through the protocol, but essentially you're going to take some every day, maybe add a little bit more to your regimen. If you're not, not noticing that you're going to the bathroom three times a day, and then you can kind of back off as you need to. And the idea is to not have to do it all the time. It is a cleanse. So you want to do it until you start feeling, noticing that you're feeling better. And then you back off of it a little bit and kind of wean yourself off. Um, the thing I want to tell you about when you do a cleanse like this is you want to drink tons of water. A very good rule of thumb for a cleanse is how, of how much water you should drink. Is you should take your weight and half that and drink that amount in ounces. So I'll say that again. Take your weight and half your, your weight. Let's say you weigh 100 pounds. Uh, probably no one here weighs 100 pounds. That's just an easy number for me. So, you're, so half that is 50, and then I should be drinking 50 ounces of water. Okay, so um, you want to be drinking plenty of water when you're cleansing. If you're having, having any side effects from this, you probably need to up your water intake. That's probably your very first thing you want to do is up your water intake. Okay, so then the next thing is the ICP protocol. Um, so the next one is ICP, and, and that's the, the next supplement in this cleansing trio. And this, this supplement actually has little fibers that act as a sponge that kind of absorb all of your impurities, all of the gases, all the toxins, and they help just eliminate them out of your body. Um, so if your digestion is slow or if you're constipated, the lower, the longer those impurities are going to sit there, right? So like, let's imagine that, like, it just makes sense, right? If you're moving really slowly and maybe you have travel using the restroom every day or even you're only going once a day and it's not going through as quickly as it should be and that then it just gets to sit there and then it has more time to keep absorbing all of that. So this ICP is going to go in there and kind of help absorb all of that for you and not, um, and grab it all instead of your body grabbing it. Okay. So that one also has, it's a powder. So you're going to take that. You're going to drink it, mix it with a glass of, more, of water. You're going to take it a couple times a day. Just follow the protocol. It's very specifically laid out. Um, but if you have questions, you can always reach out to us. Um, and then the third part of that trio is essential zyme. And what I love about this is, okay, so if you think about it, the comfort tone and the ICP that we just talked about are eliminating everything. They're pushing it all out. They're getting rid of the toxins. This essential zymes kind of helps add everything back in to help you get the most out of all of the food that you're eating. Because I mean, if we are, if you are going to do like what I talked about earlier and you're buying the grass fed ground beef and you're buying pasture chicken and eating all these Every, it's going to be more expensive, right? Drinking the raw milk, it is a little pricier. So you want to be getting all of those nutrients. And so you're just throwing your money away if your gut is in a bad shape, and but you're buying all this expensive food, right? So the essential zymes we're putting back in 
to it's oh, let me just read what I have written about it here. Essential Zyme is an advanced multi system complex that helps digestion and it helps your body to absorb the nutrients better, helps you to reestablish proper enzyme balance and increases your gut flora and it helps slow down the aging process and increases your metabolism, which will equal to more energy. So, I mean, who doesn't want to take that every day, right? Like more energy? Yes, please sign me up for that. So, um, essential zyme is another big key and that is one that you want to be taking with this trio, but you also want to be, um, just taking that all the time. Like I take that daily as well. Okay. So we talked about the cleansing trio, but there's some other ways to cleanse as well. And I have a question type it in. Um, I just want to see who can get it or who's the first one to type it, but what, um, what is the organ in our body that does the most cleansing? What do you think it is? Do you know? It, it's like the, um, yep, yeah, very good, <laughs> the liver. It is the liver. It is the most cleansing organ. I'm gonna read you a little something that Gary Young wrote about the liver and it's really interesting. Okay, yes, y'all are very smart. We do have a smart group. Okay, the liver is one of the most important organs in the body, playing a major role in detoxifying and cleansing the body. When the liver is damaged due to excess alcohol consumption, viral hepatitis, or a poor diet, and excess toxins can build up in the blood and tissues that can result in degenerative disease and health. Okay, um, and then I'm just going to read this part. The quality of every body function depends on the liver, which is essential for life. The liver is responsible for removing and neutralizing toxins and germs from the blood. and um, with all the health challenges that we all face in our modern world, it's never been more important for us to maintain a healthy, functioning, fully functioning liver. Um, an overburdened liver can negatively affect our energy, our digestion, our skin, our metabolism, our blood, so many things. That's why cleansing and detoxifying the liver is so fundamentally good for our health. I and mean, it's definitely needed. Um, okay, so why there is definitely a correlation. I don't know if you have noticed this, but um, I am 36. I'll be 37 this month. And I have noticed that my, for me personally too, and women in my age group, or maybe a little bit older, bladder issues sometimes, or just hormonal imbalances, thyroid issues. I'm noticing so much of that. And did you know that that's actually all connected? So, um, you know, I know we like to think we have endocrine system over here and a reproductive system over here, and we have a digestive system, but it's actually all connected with everything. And the liver kind of helps control all of that. Um, so if our liver is off, then that messes up our thyroid. It messes up our gut. We need to cleanse our gut. So I'm going to just tell you anything with the words juva is going to be your best option for all things liver. So we have Juva Power, Juva Cleanse, Juva Tone. I can't even remember the other ones, but Juva. Anything Juva is related to the liver and is going to be so, so good for, um, for your liver. And then there's another one that um, I've recently bought that I've heard is so, so good for the liver. It's called um, gallbladder liver flush or GLF. It's an oil. And I remember hearing at one point, never be without that oil because he used it daily to help clean out his liver because he knew that the liver was the most important part of all this cleansing. So, um, that cleansing trio we told you about is a definite must have, but if you're still finding that you're having some, maybe some gut health issues or any other issue, you want to look at your liver. So adding in Juva Cleanse, um, Juva Tone is really good just to rub on your, your liver, just rub it right on over your liver, which is actually going to be on your right side, right underneath your, um, like over your stomach, um, right underneath your breast, your, that's where your liver is. And so rubbing your, ju your Juva Tone over that Juva Cleanse and GLF are two really good oils that you can actually take in a capsule and you can take by mouth and um, get one of those little empty veg vegetable capsules and just put those oils in there. And that's gonna be so, so good for helping cleanse your liver. 
Um, some other really good oils that are good for digestive cleansing. Digize is really good. Celery seed is really good. Cilantro is known as your, um, it's going to be known as like your uh, heavy metal detox too. That's a really good one. Carrot seed. Um, okay, there's another, some other cleanses. So um, there's a cleanse in this book. And it's the master cleanse. Has anybody ever done the master cleanse? Like with lemon, maple syrup, cayenne pepper, and water. Whew, that sounds really hard. I don't even know that I would ever want to do that. Um, if anybody's ever done that, I think you're amazing. I read about it and it just seemed like super hard. So that's why I'm glad I have this cleansing trio because I don't want to have to do that other way. <laughs> um, then there's another, this, um, my desk reference here had another um, detox or cleanse. It's a heavy metal cleanse and it is the oils Juva Flex, Juva Cleanse and GLF. And so it's those two Juvas and then GLF. Juva Flex, Juva Cleanse, and GLF. And um, it helps rid the body of most of the heavy metals because let's be real, like we live in a, especially, you know, if you still have mercury fillings like I do, I got that when I was a kid. Um, we are so bombarded with heavy metals. They're finding them in our foods now. You can take a hair sample of a hair follicle and find out how much heavy metal, like everybody has them, right? And they're just, they wreak havoc on our body. They are the source of so much disease. And they, they also suck up all your minerals, which I'm learning is the minerals are key to all of this. Like if you um, have, most people have low copper. So if you have low copper, then it just like, that is what where all disease essentially starts is from low copper. And that leads to liver dysfunction, thyroid dysfunction, which leads to gut health issues, all kinds of things. So ways, um, to get rid of that, those heavy metals, try that. Those are some really good, really good things. Really good cleanses. Um, okay. What else? I think, um, oh, I wanted to just talk about, does anybody want me to talk about the um, enzymes, the different enzymes um, that we sell because, or that Young Living has? Because I feel like it's always such a question, like what do I get, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go through the list of, when you would want to take which enzyme so that way you know okay so first let's talk about detoxime that one is hands down my favorite enzyme I love it um it's out of stock right now and I'm like waiting just to see if I can like wait for it to come back okay so when you think of detoxime think gallbladder liver minerals and energy and I'll explain why so detox Enzyme is fast acting, uh, you, so you want to take it before bed. This is a good one to take at night before bed. It's fast act acting. It helps you to reabsorb all the minerals that you're eating, which remember we talked about minerals are like the key. If you don't have enough minerals, if you're not absorbing enough minerals, and when I say minerals, I'm talking magnesium, iron, selenium, copper. Um, there's others. I can't remember now, but um, those are really important ones. So you want to be eating those in your diet, drinking those, maybe getting some good real salt, putting it in your water, things like that. Um, so the detox enzyme helps you to absorb those minerals. It also helps you to detox, hence the name detox enzyme. It helps you to cleanse um, and it helps in opening your gallbladder and cleaning your liver. So that is really important. Our gallbladder can get like gunked up with all, all this stuff because the our gallbladder stores the bile that our liver makes to help digest our food. And so that can get gunked up and get backed up. And then that's what the whole host of problems. It can cause headaches. It can cause all kinds of issues, digestive issues, that gurgly tummy, that full feeling whenever you're actually still hungry, all that kind of stuff. So that um, detox sign before bed, remember those three words I said about detox sign, gallbladder, liver, minerals, and energy. So it's those are the three things with detoxime. Okay, allerzyme. Let's move on to allerzyme. So allerzyme is really, really good for um, your gas fatigue. It helps regulate your blood sugar. It's good to take if you have any sort of food sensitivities or if you have that full filling, like, oh, you ate way too much and you're like, oh, I can't even like get this food digested. I just feel so full. Take an allerzyme, it'll really help. Um, if you have any like allerzyme, like allergies, that will help food allergies, food sensitivities, things like that. Okay, you want to take this one 
one to two capsules three times a day before meals. So just think right before you eat, take one to two capsules. And so for Allerzyme, those three words to help is gas, fatigue, and food sensitivities. So those are the three to think of when you think of Allerzyme. Okay. <clears throat> Um, let's see, Tanya asked, we, should, we shouldn't take detox time and life drive together before bed, right? We need to stagger them. I have never heard that. You may know something more than I do. I take them together just because I don't have time to like tie my supplements differently. I just take them all before bed. So if you've heard something different, let, let me know, but I've never heard that. Um, okay, the next one is essential zymes four. So we have essential zyme, which I already talked about, that's in the cleansing trio, and then we have essential zymes four. And that one you want to take with your meals. It helps you actually, I'm sorry, you want to take that with your two largest meals of the day. Um, and that one's going to help break down food. And it think with this one, soothing and calming. It's gonna help soothe soothe and calm your digestive system. So if you feel like you have heat or some inflammation going on, this is a really good one. It soothes and calms. Um, and then we also have a Mighty Zymes and that's for kids. It's just a good general overall, really good um, enzyme for kids to take. So if you have kiddos with digestive issues, Mighty Zyme is a really, really good one. Oh, Tracy, Allerzyme is great for acne and yeast too. Yes. Very, yes, exactly. Okay, and then we also have ICP daily, and that is kind of like the ICP that is um, in the cleansing trio. Yes, I love ICP daily. So this is more of a one to take every single day versus the ICP in the cleansing trio is just gonna be two to three times a week. So um, I think that's all I had. Tracy, did you want to um, say anything else or does anybody have have any questions? I mean, I have so much more I could talk about, but um, I'm going to pass it off to somebody else. <laughs> oh my gosh, Christina, that was so good. You guys, I told you she was going to bring it. And I forgot to mention when I introduced Christina is uh, she is a former labor and delivery nurse as well. So she is an RN. She's got the medical background, um, which I think just adds to her expertise. Um, but she's told me things that I was like, what? What are you talking about? This is amazing. Like she's introduced me to things that I never even knew existed. So she's definitely one that I go to all the time. Um, but I had a couple of things to add. We had some questions on leaky gut. Um, and, you know, you may not know you have leaky gut, um, but just kind of putting this out there because I feel like sometimes when I'm talking to people, I'm like, ooh, that might be an indication of leaky gut. So my husband has had leaky gut before. Um, and if leaky gut is not taken care of, it can trigger an autoimmune issue. And once you have an autoimmune issue, like you've got it, like you're managing it, right? Like he's in a good place and managing it, but depending on how things go, it could go back down, you know? So um, leaky gut is definitely something to pay attention to. And I think you're just going to kind of know, like things are not feeling right. Different symptoms may come up, right? It could be brain fog. It could be fatigue. Um, I will tell you for my husband, now that I sort of know kind of the symptoms, I'm just like, oh my gosh, it was like, it was all right in front of us, but we didn't know what to look for. Um, one thing that kind of comes up with leaky gut is not only like Christina said, right? Like when you're taking in food, it could get into the bloodstream, right? And that can cause some autoimmune issues or, or a, a, like, an, a, like an immune reaction. But here's the other thing is when you've got leaky gut, you may not be absorbing nutrients properly, like your minerals, your vitamins. Um, and so what often happens is even for someone who's taking vitamins or eating relatively healthy, they may not be absorbing those nutrients properly. And one of the first places you're going to notice it is your teeth. So this is going to happen over the course of many years, but my husband has always had dental health issues. So I can't even tell you like three or four root canals. He's had probably like five crowns and it is not for lack of dental hygiene. I'm going to be really honest. His dental hygiene is like 10 times better than mine. Half the time I forget to floss. I always brush every day, but I'll be like, oh, forgot to floss and forgot to use my thieves, you know, mouthwash. And he's like in there and he's like, what, you know, like when, before we had this diagnosis, he was like, what is going on? And now I understand, right? Pretty hard for your teeth to get mineralized if your gut isn't absorbing the minerals that you're eating. So do you hear what I'm saying? So um, 
definitely something to be watching out for. And if you've had those kinds of like dental health issues, you might want to go seek out like a functional medicine doctor, maybe a biological dentist. Um, you can do searches for this. Um, I can provide some uh, links of where maybe you can go search for a practitioner in your area. Um, but that was really um, very eye-opening. I had never associated gut issues with dental health, but they totally fall in line with each other. Just like skin issues, this is like my problem. I know when my gut's out of balance, when it's like I can see like more dark spots or like I break out. That's usually what my, my trigger is. Um, but I'm even noticing it with my teenage son. So when Christina had mentioned Allerzyme, if you've got teenagers who are dealing with acne or skin issues, Allerzyme is really going to be a best friend. Um, but the other thing to keep in mind is, again, it could be different triggers. You would never think this, this is totally crazy and somewhat related to gut health, but with the skin issues, I got, I gave my son the CBD beauty boost. I was like, child, do not use this. Like all over, I was like, use this sparingly. <laughs> this is an $85 bottle, but you know, he used it and it really helped with the redness. He's getting the redness right in here. That's often yeast, by the way, this is just our experience. This is redness around the nose is often yeast. Um, so I'm like, oh, you better up your allerzyme. So it's almost like I use like what's going on in his skin to kind of figure out like, okay, how do we make sure you're on the right supplement protocol? And then let's give you the CBD beauty boost to sort of handle what's going on surface level, but let's get deep rooted into what's kind of going on. So just want to give you some, some context to all of that. Um, but this gut protocol, Okay, so I just wanted to do kind of like ooh, a promo here. <laughs> so this is the gut cleansing trio. I posted a link, I'll post a graphic later. Um, you guys, we want to do this with you, this gut cleansing trio. Make sure you put this on your order this month in March because we're gonna do a gut cleansing challenge in April. Like we're all gonna do it together. We're gonna have the cleanest guts ever in April. I'm doing this with you too. Um, but like Christina said, the comfort tone kind of loosens, right? What's going on so that you're going regularly. And then the ICP pushes it out. And then the essential zyme, right, is going to support um, healthy digestion. Let me just tell you, I feel like I eat fairly well, um, but I'm probably, you know, we're just not getting everything we need. And honestly, Christina, I don't know that story with Gary, let me just say, I wouldn't be surprised that he was requiring people to take the cleansing trio or cleansing supplements. Um, if you've not heard us talk about the wellness triangle before, so just imagine this is a triangle, right? The oils are like at the very tippy top, right? In the middle is like ditch and switch on the bottom is supplements. That's how we suggest you structure your orders every single month. But exactly what Christina said, if your body is getting the supplements it needs, right? And sometimes, or nutrients it needs, sometimes it's really hard to get it through food. Even if we eat really healthy, our bodies may not just be absorbing it. So supplements are really key to that. Um, and when our gut and our body is performing more optimally, the oils are going to work better. So I will tell you, I often get people who ask me this, they'll be like, I tried this, but I'm not getting the results I need, right? Like with an oil and I'm like, well, how's your gut? You go into the bathroom every day. And I'm like, we just get real personal, real fast. I'm like, I know it's not something you wanna share, but I've already had kids, so it's fine. Everything's shareable at this point. I'm like, let's talk about your digestion. Let's talk about how often you're going to the bathroom, right? Let's talk about, you know, hormones. They're all related. Did you guys know this? This is the other thing why you wanna get your gut in check and why you wanna do this gut cleanse with us. Did you know if your gut is not working properly, it will totally wreak havoc on your hormones? Did you know this? So here's another example, um, estrogen. We are exposed to xenoestrogens, okay? So xenoestrogens are sort of synthetic, right? Estrogen from plastic. Whether it's plastic containers, whether it's just plastic, like food, you know, like food containers, right? Or just like, uh, anything. I mean, think about all the plastic in our home. It's, it's pretty unavoidable to be really honest, even if we're going to the store and buying things in bulk and like putting it in like, you know, a glass container, usually it's like in a plastic bag of some sort, just to like transport it home. I'm pretty confident to say that I don't think any of us 
is 100% plastic free. That's just not the life that we live in this modern world. But just being exposed to plastics, right? It exposes us to xenoestrogens. Guess what helps to dump the xenoestrogens out of our body, the excess xenoestrogens? Poop. When we poop every single day, that's why if we poop two to three times a day, we're dumping that excess xenoestrogens that we're being exposed to in food containers, in our environment, in you know, shampoo bottles and whatnot, right? We are dumping that out. So it's not just about, right? My gut is clean, I'm pooping every day. Your gut, right, is sort of like the key to everything in your body, your hormones, your skin, your energy levels, your pain and inflammation. Can I just tell you, again, with my husband, Pain and inflammation, let me, I will cry if I really think too much about this. Um, and I think Christina could probably talk about pain and inflammation too, but he, his pain and inflammation was so out of control. He had chronic fatigue. He couldn't get off the bed. I think he was like in his early thirties at this point or mid thirties. He was young, he was fit, right? He couldn't even get off the couch. up the kids. He couldn't go with us to the theme parks because he couldn't walk more than half a block. Pain and inflammation in his body was so out of control. It was like he was a 90 year old man. That's kind of what I felt like. I was like, okay, what are we going to do with all this? And it was all interrelated with his autoimmune issues. But guess what? The treatment they told us to do was to clean his gut, to heal his gut, right? So doing like a protocol, like the gut cleansing protocol is part of it right? That helps to cleanse. But the thing that helps to heal the gut, right? You've got your essential zymes, right? Helps to break down the food. But then we've got other things, right? Like life nine helps to like, you know, repopulate that healthy gut flora back in the gut, right? That helps to heal the gut. We've got like Immupro, um, inner defense, right? All sort of different things that we can do to like heal, right? That sort of lining of the gut. Um, so when once we addressed right the gut issues removed food triggers i'm not even kidding it was like he was a new person it was crazy in fact circling back to the dental thing the dental health issues he had a root canal this is going to sound so crazy he had a root canal went to a biological dentist and they're like that root canal is the final piece you need to have it removed and he was like you want me to remove my tooth like this is crazy town I kid you not, one week after that tooth was removed, he was like a 20 year old again. He was back to surfing, no more handicap pass. He was on medical leave, back to work. He was like living life like a teenager again. Like it was crazy. It was all the different things that we did in conjunction with each other that worked really well. So I really hope that you take heart and hear all these great things from Christina and like what everybody's talking about like in the chat. But sometimes, right, we think, well, we eat healthy, so it's okay, but sometimes it's not enough. Sometimes you have to supplement. In fact, I, again, I feel like we eat pretty well. We always supplement um, just to make sure that we're getting what we need so that we're pooping every day. Um, and it's just a big part of like what we do. So just wanted to share that. Hope if you have questions, let me know. But it seems like pooping is like such a trivial thing. It is everything. Um, Ashley and I were with Gary Young at Winter Harvest. We spent a whole week with Gary. It was pretty freaking awesome. The first thing he's told us was like, you need to be pooping every day. And I'm like, what? This is crazy. I've never heard. And he's telling us all these things. Hormones are related to your poop. And this is related. And we're like, what? I didn't know this. So Gary, like Christina said, was a huge proponent of gut health. In fact, Correct me if I'm wrong. Was it ICP was the first supplement he made? Does that sound right? ICP or Comfort Tone? I can't remember. I think that was the first supplement. And he created every single supplement because he had he knew someone in his life who had a need. Isn't that amazing? He created the supplements for a need for the people that he knew in his life. That's why we have so many, especially related to gut health. Um, so that's everything I had. Sorry, I took up a lot of time, but just wanted to add on to what Christina said. Um, who else has a testimonial or something to share? We'd love to hear from you guys. Anybody have a testimonial or do you have more questions for Christina that you want her to answer or you'd like her to answer? 
<laughs> Thank you, Jen. I feel like we learn something new every day, right? So good. Oh, um, Christina, Robin has a question. What's the best way to take um, a pre or a probiotic? For instance, what's the difference with Mighty Pro and Life9? Um, you cut out just a little bit, Tracy. What was that last part of the question? What's the difference between what? I didn't see the question. Um, it's from Robin. She said, um, what's the difference, like for Mighty Pro, for instance, which has a pre and probiotic versus like a Life9? You know what? That's actually a really good question. So what the way I understand, pre, there might be someone here that can explain it better than me, but the way I understand pre versus probiotics is that a prebiotic is needed to help feed the live bacteria that is in the probiotic. So the probiotics you're taking actually are like live, a live you know, bacteria that you're replacing in your gut. And it also needs food to survive and to live and to thrive. And so a prebiotic will actually help feed that. So I hope that that um, makes sense. Someone else might could um, expand on that, but that's my limited knowledge of pre versus pro. <laughs> yeah, Stephanie is agreeing with you. She's saying the prebiotic has the fiber. Stephanie says prebiotic. This is so good. So the other thing that I understand is, you know, Christina did such a fabulous job highlighting different cleanses, right? Like a gut cleanse versus a liver cleanse versus like a heavy metal cleanse. Um, what you always want to start with the, with the gut cleanse though, right? Okay. So do your colon cleanse be, you know, using the bathroom two to three times a day. And then once you've got that, you know, like maintained, you're doing well with that, then you move into like a liver cleanse right? You don't want to do the liver cleanse first. You want to get the colon and the gut like primed and ready before you do that. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, and then the heavy metal cleanse is going to be really great too. Um, and I feel like we've done a call before about heavy metal detox and EMFs. We actually have a whole call dedicated to that. I'll go find it, but we might, it might be time for us to do another one. We could dedicate a whole new call on that one. Robin's asking, can we do pre or probiotic on an empty stomach. Um, yeah, you can totally do it on an empty stomach. Um, that's not an issue. Um, are there any cons to taking Mighty Pro instead of Life9? No, in fact, when I travel, I take Mighty Pro because it's just easier. Um, no cons at all. Yeah, really good questions. Um, one thing that I, I sorry, go ahead, Christina. Oh, sorry. No, no. I was just going to add, um, uh, in case anybody has any, I have a story to talk about with my daughter, actually my oldest daughter and son, when they were little, they had eczema and I knew that was gut health related. And I was racking my brain. Like, why did these kids have eczema? I don't understand. Cause I thought I was doing everything right. And, um, this before I, new to give them enzymes. I was doing all the things topically. And then um, I added in Mighty Zymes and I did coconut oil and, um, you know, just some really mild things on the actual rash, but the Mighty Zymes cleared it up like that, like super fast. So if you have a kiddo dealing with skin issues, some digestive enzymes for kids might really be helpful. And you guys, I didn't realize at the time I was my enzymes are one of the very few enzymes marketed for kids that's a chewable that don't taste terrible. Like I don't know of any other on the market. So we we're pretty lucky to have my enzymes because my kids actually like them and almost no other product out there is like a chewable for a kid. They're all like pills to swallow. So it's pretty it's a pretty good product. Yeah, I was just going to add so Again, Christina had talked about comfort tone and ICP. So these are meant to do short term, like as needed, right? So we're going to do a cleanse together in April. So three to four weeks. Um, but the things that you can take ongoing and should be taking ongoing are the digestive enzymes, right? So whether it is essential zyme, essential zyme 4, detoxzyme, allerzyme, 
right? Or the, the, the mighty sign for kiddos, like that is definitely something you want to be taking. And kind of the rule of thumb is before the biggest meals of the day. Um, so for me, I typically don't really do breakfast. So like lunch and dinner before the biggest meals is when I take my enzymes and that helps to break down the food um, so that your body can digest and eliminate what it doesn't need. And then the other one that like Christina had said this earlier, the ICP daily, Regular ICP, again, is for a short-term cleanse. ICP daily is the one that has the fiber that you can take every day. So those are two that I would definitely be adding. So good. What other questions do you guys have on gut health? Do you have kiddos who have gut health issues? Um, like Christina said, yeah, eczema, rosacea, um, those are definitely like skin issues, but are deeply rooted in gut health and autoimmune. So that's definitely one to look out for. Or yeast, that's another one. Yeah, this is good. Vanessa's saying essential zyme, life nine, sulfur zyme, which we haven't talked much about tonight, but sulfur zyme is like the life nine. It helps to like, um, heal the gut lining, right? Helps to support the immune health of like the gut. So that's definitely one to be taking. So yeah, that's part of her um, digestive protocol. That's good. Oh, Michelle said her toddler whose gut was wrecked after taking antibiotics as a baby. So she, her daughter now takes um, Mighty Pro and Mighty Zymes. Those are the staples. Yeah, that's good. Um, Amy's asking about Ningerette. Does it have probiotic or prebiotic? So neither really, although um, Mighty, um, Mighty Pro does have like the Ninja Wolfberry powder, which is like the fiber. So they've kind of taken the fiber from the wolfberries, right? Created a powder and that's kind of the fiber that's in Mighty Pro as a prebiotic, yeah. Wow, Whitney is saying her mom had dermatitis, started taking sulfurzyme and it has disappeared. Yeah, that's phenomenal. Um, sulfurzyme powder does have a prebiotic in it. It does have that Ninja Wolfberry powder. So if you're already taking sulfurzyme powder, you're getting that prebiotic. Yeah, that's so good. What other questions, comments? Does anyone have a testimonial to share? We'd love to hear from you guys. You're helping other people when you share your testimonials. It's so good. All good, all good. Let me see if there's other questions up here. So can I tell you, definitely be taking advantage of the monthly promos. Lately, it's been more oils, but I remember there, they would have like quite a few supplements. So I had like detox sign and allerzyme. You know, originally when I was starting out with Young Living Supplements, I was like, okay, essential zyme. That's the one Gary mentioned, so that's what I'm going to get. Um, and I had not really thought about using some of the other enzymes, but, you know, be taking advantage of those monthly promos because it's a great way to try new products. And that's when I was like, oh, I think I like allerzyme better um, because it really works well for our food sensitivities. So um, that's another great way to be using it. Another thing is when you're on subscribe to save, right? You're earning these loyalty points. You guys, you could use that to be cashing it in to try different supplements that you haven't tried before. That's another great way to use them. Mary Beth, uh, is the prebiotic in the sulfurzyme capsules? No, it is not. Um, it is the MSM, right? Which is, uh, which helps with like joint health and everything. Um, but the sulfurzyme powder is what has the prebiotic in it. I love the powder. If you've not done it yet, I do the uh, half a teaspoon of the sulfurzyme powder, one to two ounces of Ningxia Red, and like, you know, like eight ounces, 16 ounces of water, mix it all together. And I take that. Sometimes I'll even add golden turmeric to it. Um, and it tastes delicious. Wow, this is from Robin. My teen's IBS symptoms are gone since starting Mighty Pro and Ninja Red. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. What a fabulous testimonial. 
Okay, so Amy is saying two weeks consistently using Ningxia Red, Sulfurzyme capsules, and Endogize, um, and amazing results for horrible back problems for the last 17 months. Oh, okay, and I've had awesome gut results. <laughs> Amber, she's like, maybe I just need to order everything. I know, right? It kind of feels like that. Start off with like a few things. So after this call, we'll share with you, right? Like a graphic to show you, you know, what to get. But really, if you walk away from anything from this call, first work on getting your gut health, right? In control. If you're not pooping two to three times a day, work on that first, right? So join us, do this like gut cleansing protocol with us. Then after that, start working on like fortifying and strengthening your gut. And you do that with like your life nine, your sulfur zyme, your ninja red, right? All of that. And then you kind of add things on. So I will tell you, I don't always feel like I need the gut cleansing protocol. I typically like to do it like after the holidays because maybe I was eating a lot of sugar or just a lot of junk food, like after a uh, a trip or something, um, but I'm not necessarily doing that cleansing protocol all the time, but I am consistently taking supplements to like fortify and strengthen my gut. Yeah, it's good. Barbie is asking, is this cleanse okay if you no longer have a gallbladder? You know, Barb, I don't know. I would definitely ask your doctor to be sure, and you could send the link or like bring like a printout of the cleansing protocol and like let them go over the different ingredients in it. I personally wouldn't know. I don't know, Christina, if you have any feedback on that, but I wouldn't personally know. Um, I would just say my first instinct is to say it's probably safe and fine because you can pretty much do most of your normal things, like if you don't have a gallbladder. But I mean, I know there are some things you can't do that, that are once it's gone, but just still ask your doctor. My gut says probably it's fine, but I would just ask. Yeah, Amy is saying her sister did a liver cleanse without a gallbladder. So again, probably okay, like Christina said, but just ask your doctor. I think it's always great to do a heads up. Preface, we are not doctors. Well, at least I'm not a doctor. Christine is a nurse. So she definitely has way more knowledge than I do. But, you know, everybody's situation is different. So definitely talk to your healthcare practitioner. This is so good. Okay, tell me who's going to do the gut cleansing protocol with me? Who's going to do it with me? Tell us in the comment box who's going to do it with me. Do we do like some fun things like I don't know. We have like poop emoji pillows that is giveaways. I'm trying to think, how do we make this fun? <laughs> join in, join in. Yeah, make your hubby do it too. Yep, yep. What do we do? We'll do some fun things um, so that, to keep everybody motivated and on track. Maybe we'll have like, I'm trying to think, you don't have to share it, but we could be like a poop tracker. Like, are you getting your poops in? You know, it's good to keep track of that stuff. I'll see if my, my boys want to join too. <laughs> It'll be good. And you know what? It's so much better to do it with other people because we can support each other, right? We can have some fun with it, um, but you just know you're not doing it alone. So awesome. So many people are going to be doing it with us. I love it. There's an app. Of course there is, Vanessa. Maybe you can share it with us later. There's an app for tracking your poop. I love it. <laughs> a chart with poop stickers. Yeah, exactly. We'll be doing that. Yeah, how much we need per person. Yeah, we'll definitely figure that out um, and let you know like what kind of supplies you need um, and we'll have like a fun giveaway. It'll be awesome. Yeah, we'll definitely have that for you. Thank you. That's a great reminder, Amber. Okay, you guys. So we're wrapping up our Oily Underground all about detoxing your gut. We hope you enjoyed it. We invite you to stay on because we're going to be doing a business call right after this. And it's going to be all about how to build in person. And let me just tell you, maybe you've been doing this business a while and you've built in person before. Let me just say things have changed. Things are different, okay, over the past year and two years. And so we're going to have Chelsea Gray and uh, Jen Gaskell, Ashley Diet. they're going to be sharing like tips and strategies that really work 
for building in person. So we want to invite you to stay on. Okay, it's no, you, you don't need to log on, log off and log back on, just stay on and we're going to start in just a few seconds. Um, but if you need to like run to the restroom real quick, run and get a Ninja Red, go do it. And then we're going to transition in just a second. <laughs> 